yo, shorty, let me holler at you real quick. You don't have to holler, I can hear. So make a ride at the stop sign and you'll hit the freeway. <laughs> nah, 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 baby, uh, I don't need no directions. See, I got GPS. GPS my car, GPS my phone. Matter of fact, I got three phones and they all got GPS. Nah, baby, I got this covered. I just need a shorty to holler at. Stop with the hollering. Do you do that a lot? Because that can be very bad for your vocal folds. Teachers, lawyers, yodelers, actors, performers, pastors, preachers, motivational speakers, people who talk a lot for a living, you know, tend to develop nodules on their vocal folds. Nodules are like these little corns or calluses that grow like on the side of your baby toe from too much friction with your shoe. And once that happens and you holler a lot, your vocal folds are going to think it needs to protect itself. So it'll start growing these corns. These corns can get as big as bunions. And you do not want a bunion in your vocal throat, do you? Now, once that happens, you're going to have to get surgery. Surgery is the only option. And after surgery, you will not be able to speak for three weeks. I mean, can you imagine not being able to speak for three weeks? Like, I can even go silent for seven minutes, never mind a day or two days. Forget about three. Hey, slow down. There are children in this neighborhood, mister. And that is how you get rid of niggas. Holla! I'm Nadege, bitches. Wow. Wow.